Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Amamance, in the Life on Minecraft series. What an exciting day today. We are not seeking out any old mob, but there is new life that has joined Minecraft very, very recently as I make this video. It is a small, buzzy insect mob that is absolutely incredible as it flies around the biomes that it now spawns in, which are the flower forest, the plains, and the sunflower biomes. We are talking about the Minecraft bee. We're in a snapshot for 115, and bees are now introduced, and I think we need to go and see if we can find some. You can see here in this plains biome, we've got a couple of interesting blocks that have grown on these trees. And what are these little floaty insects? This is the honeybee. Oh, there's another one in there as well. We've got a fantastic little bee here. It's floating around that flower. It's very interested in it. What a brilliant new little mob. As you can see, bees float around flowers and they take the pollen from the flowers. And ultimately, you can see the size and shape of this particular bee. And that one is bum change color. And it got all covered in pollen. And effectively, what that's done, that is now a fully pollinated bee. That bee's gonna fly around a little bit and eventually find his way back to a hive nest. It doesn't know where it is at the moment, but eventually you'll find a hive and start to fill that hive up. These hive have five states, level one, level two, level three, level four, and level five. And at level five, you can start to interact with them and get different resources that weren't previously available. Currently in this snapshot, 19W34A, which is the very first Minecraft version 1.15, 115 snapshot, you can't interact with them. You can't actually get any type of interaction with these nests. Whether this is something that's gonna get developed out in future snapshots so you can see whether it's got, you know, one or five levels of honey is yet unsure. Bees, like a number of other wild mobs, become very friendly if you're holding something in your hand that they like, and you can breed them as a result. If I right click on that bee, and that bee with a flower, they'll do a little bee mating dance and they'll make a little baby bee. And little baby bees do exactly the same as larger bees. They're just a smaller version. They take 20 minutes to grow, the same as other baby mobs. And you can accelerate that growth by clicking on them with a flower. So you can see you get the particle effects. And every time you click on it with a flower, the growth rate of that baby bee reduces by 10%. Bees are a communal mob. That means that they work together to achieve their goals. There's a number of them live in the individual hives or the nests, and they also communicate to each other if they are under distress. So what that means is I've had to come inside this protective apiary that I have developed with this individual bee. I'm in survival because I want to show you that these mobs are not passive. These mobs are very, very much a neutral mob. And if you get aggressive with them, they get aggressive with you. Look at its gorgeous little big eyes. It's, it's adorable. However, a bit like a wolf, if you give it a knock, it doesn't like you very much. There you go, its eyes turn red. It comes and has a go at you. And it turns around and it shoves its stinger into you. The stinger comes off. You notice that stinger has come off. And after about 20 seconds, you'll see that bee doesn't have a particularly good time of it. Like in real life, bees will die a little while after having stung a player because their sting has effectively been ripped out of their body. I'm not gonna hit it again. You'll notice it's already gone passive again, but it will ultimately die. Just like that. It's actually really sad. Just to demonstrate that community aspect of these bees and their aggression, I've got three bees in here. These are probably gonna be killer bees, but I've got three bees in here. I'm gonna tap one. You'll notice the sting is in all of their tails at the moment. All three of them are not gonna be very happy. All of their eyes turn, all of them start to sting me, and you'll notice they can only sting me once. I then continue to be poisoned and quite possibly die. They carry on attacking you, but the second attack is far less of a problem. And now the poison has worn off and I haven't died. They have slowly started to die themselves as a result of their stingers being pulled out. Bees will also give a similar level of aggression if you destroy the hive or the nest that they live in. One thing I've just noticed is this animation. It looks like honey dripping from the bottom 
of this particular nest. I wonder if it actually means that this nest is at level five and therefore ready for us to, to, to reap and harvest. There's two ways in which you can get things from these nests. One is with a bottle to get a bottle of honey and two is with a pair of shears. So if I do the honey first, I've got a honey bottle. So that now indicates that it is um, no longer full. And you see here, actually the front graphic of this nest, it's gone from being that kind of full orangey honey color to these two little dots here and no longer that yellow color. That means that we've emptied the nest out. That's something I've literally just learned now. Similarly, this nest also has got that yellow graphic on its side. So I suspect this also means that it is full. I'm gonna use shears on this one and I'm gonna see if I can't get myself some honeycomb. Right click with the shears, bang, you take the honeycomb, but the bees pop out aggressively. Did you see they come out with their eyes red? They don't like you taking their honeycomb at all, but there is a way that you can pacify them. Like in a real life, Minecraft has seen that smoke can pacify these creatures. So if you pop a campfire underneath and that puts smoke up underneath that nest, if you then take the honeycomb, that honeycomb stealing will not affect the bees. They will not become dangerous or aggressive. So let's show that. There's bees inside. I'm going to pop that out and they come out with their eyes black, not red. So if ever you've got a little beehive or a bee nest, shove a campfire underneath it. You'll find you get stung way less. A bee's nest generally contains bees, like it would in real life. They go inside there and they rest up. That one just came out of it there, you'll see. And in the night time, they all fly back to their nest and go inside. If you try and mine out a nest with a normal tool or your hand, that nest is destroyed and it releases the bees. And they are not particularly happy with you when you do that. However, it is possible to move these nests with the bees inside using a silk touch tool. So I've got an iron axe here with silk touch on it. I'm gonna mine out this full nest. It drops the nest there, you can see. The bees don't like it very much surrounding you because they were bees that belonged to that nest. And as a result, they see what you're doing. Any bees inside, however, would stay there. Now those bees nests are not craftable blocks. They spawn naturally in the environment. You can't make them. Whether or not future snapshots will allow you to make them is unclear at this time. However, there is another block that acts in the same way as a bee's nest, and that is a bee hive. We used to have to make bee hives using things like glowstone and trap doors to give aesthetic looks to your worlds. Well, now you can actually make a bee hive, and that bee hive is made with six planks, and three of the honeycombs. Remember, three honeycombs come from one harvesting of one of those nests. So you only need to harvest one nest to get yourself sufficient honeycomb to do this. There is a bee hive. Now bees don't prefer hives over nests or nests over hives. They're not fussy. They see them both as potential houses. As a result, if you put yourself some bee hives around your base, that will naturally bring bees in and those bees will use your hive as their home. Remember, put a campfire underneath the beehive, otherwise any interaction with that beehive is gonna result in getting your beet self beaten up by bees like I just did. Now beehives can be placed just like any other block and mined out without silk touch. You don't need silk touch to mine out a beehive, you only need silk touch to mine out a bee's nest. Now there are different ways in which you could place them. I've just given some ideas for some aesthetics. They look a little bit like a cardboard box, don't they? And I wonder if the textures may change just a little bit before the game is utterly developed in 115. But we've got it placed onto an oak block, onto quartz, onto um, hay bale, I quite like that, onto end. I like this end stone, actually. I think that works really, really rather well. That's onto oak plank. I'm less inclined to go with that because the texture of the hive is actually very akin to the oak plank. However, I do like the oak fence. That works really, really well. And I actually quite like sticking them on an end rod. One more thing that I've just seen is that they have a redstone signal. I've here got a nest that is fully stocked. You can see the honey is dripping out of those two holes at the front. It's a fully stocked and it's got five signal strength of redstone when you use a comparator to suck out that signal. So this is another way to see what the level is, I suspect. It all the way up to five, number six, irrelevant of the fact it's full, number six does not light up. I'm gonna now farm this with my shears by right clicking on it, take that out and automatically look, all of the redstone signal is taken away. Now we're gonna watch this now for a moment and we're gonna see whether or not 
that increases slowly over time as bees start to stock it. And there you have it, one full hive again, and that has got five signal strengths, slowly increasing one by one as the bees pop out, not as they go in. You notice the bees with their polony bums go inside the nest and they sit there and they have a chill. They probably have some honey tea and have a chat about the weather and where the flowers are more specifically because bees do share location of flowers near the hive with each other. They may not use that information, but they do share the information. And as soon as they come out, that increases the honey level in that hive by one spot. And we've noticed that that then can use an indicator system using these lights so you can see how full your hives are. I can see this being a way to identify the fullness of a number of farms in the future. What a fantastic new mob and great addition to the game. This is the perfect life on Minecraft subject. Now, there's more gonna be coming out over the new snapshots on this honeybee. And as you watch this, they may already have come out. We may already know more. Research continues. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see it in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.